Scott's just told me that he's uh, just seen bubbles and he never meant Michael Jackson's monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there then, Scott? We just are using some Teflon coated wide gate, called up wide gate B, I might add. Oh, very Slightly impressive. Slightly in turn, 25 degree angle. I feel that might give me the, uh, the edge. edge that I need to eke me a fish or two out. The yeah. legend that is the blue ghosty. The blue ghosty, the 28 and a half pound blue ghosty. Which I shall catch on bread flake dipped in. In fact, I in could bright. say I think it might even be mythical. <laughs> nice new rig, rig pouch you got there, mate. Yes, this is my rig pouch from the carp market. I mean show. And what a lovely day it is. It is a beautiful day. Oh. Oh, there's that. The kettle's boiling. I'll do the kettle, please. Ah. Unfortunately, it wasn't the mythical 28 pound blue ghosty. It was probably somebody else casting over me lines, truth be known. Here we have the Dynamine Baits 15mm Fluoro Pop-Ups Tutty Fratty flavour. <laughs> tutty Fratty! <laughs> <laughs> and here's what it looks like with said rig. There's the rig. Let's have a look. Oh, Anti-tangle while it's tangled. Try and zoom in on that. Yeah, keep it about there, oh yeah. If you was a fish. If I was a fish. If you was a blue ghost carp that weighed exactly 28 pound. 28 and a half pound. 28 and a half pound <laughs> even you would be killing yourself to feast on the tutty fratty dynamite baits <laughs> the mil fluoro pop -ups. it's a beauty and i'm just i'm just down in scott's swim at the moment it's my bivy there just next to scott's uh, i did have a little few bleeps a while ago but then uh, nothing on the end of it there's a few too many people down here now i think it wasn't when we got down here since then everything's it's all got busy in it it's got very busy it's a nice day that's why but I'm hoping to get my first fish of the year, which is, uh, I've been out, I've done two nights, a day, little day session and, and had nothing, which is not good. Oh, here we go, the, uh, what you got there then, mate? Molly pill, non-lead sinker. <laughs> yes, having a little zoom in on that, keep that still there, yeah, that's the, uh, yeah. High Lovely. quality stuff, yeah. 10 for a pound. <laughs> Right, nice. Scott's not doing the night. Uh, I'm going to do a one. I'm going to do one or two nights, but it's been very cold. So it's dropped to like uh, one degree again last night. And this morning, I thought it was going to freeze up at one point. Anyway, that's it for now. What a lovely day. It'll be the best day of the year so far. It's not raining like in one of uh, Angel and Basher's videos that's always raining. <laughs> yeah, oh, lovely day down here. No action as yet. Um, and the fishery's actually got a bit better in my opinion because they've now, um, where the old office used to be, is now a tackle shop over there. That's a full proper tackle shop. And they're now doing food delivered to your swim on the bank so like when I went to the monument about half past five they ring a bell and you can go and have your dinner up there um, you order it in advance and they just ring you it's ready will your rods in go and have your dinner come back if you want to do that which is a nice little extra um, but of course I've cooked myself mostly on the bank it's all part of it in a way for me um, but it might be nice every now and then Just got some breaking news from uh, Scott here that the uh, if you're using the armour mesh, you need a longer hair. Is that right, Scott? I believe it is. Or How have you come to that assumption? Short hair, because I find that sometimes the um, hook can hook the the bag. And here we have said ring. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got With it a chassis yeah. fratty on there. Yeah, Scott's been using some armour mesh with tuna and things in like that, haven't you? A bit. And he's had, 
you had a bit of success. Was that mine? Every time you pick that thing up, it starts. The right rod again. Mm. Action shot. Action shot coming up. Oh, a fine cast. Well, you target small fish, don't you? I try to. I can't get <laughs> any fish. <laughs> I was just saying to Scott that I don't think that my um, rod pod is critically balanced. It's wonky. I can't stand wonky things. The camera's wonky. Some hemp armor mesh tops off with a piece of fake corn. Should yeah. Have a little look in the water. It's not critically balanced, but it's oh, all, yeah. all bit of oozage there as well. Look. Oh, is that uh, amino acids oozing <laughs> gently into the swim? <laughs> it will sit upright. Yeah. In, in the in the water. That's, what have you got in that armor mesh bag there, then? Some of your finest chili hemp. Chili hemp. Wow. Plus, I'm going to dunk it. Dunk it. In the tuna. Yeah. Good luck to you, good luck. Anyway, here's my rods. I've had a couple of bleeps. Do I bring it in or what? it out. Don't worry, that glug you've got on it, Bring the fish will be jumping out and biting your ankles. Bring them in from the middle lake. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's come up to about six o'clock now, and uh, caught nothing all day. Scott's gone home. Um, bottom lake down at Churchgate, no action. But everybody else has now left the lake, so I'm just about to cast out again um, so I can get a nice tie up to the islands where other people have been fishing, where I couldn't fish all day. Now they're all going home. Uh, I'll be able to get on there, which uh, then I'll leave them in for the night before it gets dark. So let's get them in there. That's what's going on. That's half a uh, mash. A white amber one I got from the carp show. It's like the strawberry attract, but a bit different. Um, and on that, I'm just going to hook a bag of chili hemp and uh, the crushed up boilie. So I've got that. So it's going out. There you go. Get it out. Try to. And that's that one. That's a Nash Squid Scope X. Um, yellow pop-up sweet corn, little bag of chili hemp with some squid scope eggs in there as well. Let's hope that does the trick, nothing else has. Just had my um, first fish of the year. Didn't weigh it, my hands were freezing cold. I suppose I guess it was about a 10 pound mirror carp. 
um, like the Simo one, so um, that was right, I thought quite hard, a bit weird though, when I eventually got it back in, I noticed that me, as it, as it went in the net, me, me hook popped out, and it was just, I thought it was all tangled, but it was just sitting down the side, and uh, had another hook in its mouth, with a little bit of fake corn on her, so I took that out, sorted out the fish, and I put it in and um, that was that's my first fish of the year. Yeah, my hands are now freezing cold. I'm back in the bivvy with a heater on and uh, making a nice cup of coffee. I've got and that was caught on a big bag of, of like loader, you know, not a small bag, a massive big bag of uh, hemp with uh, squid scope eggs in it. So that's gone out in the same position, same bag. Um, expecting another one. I did have another run before that um, that I lost. I just sort of, as soon as I got in the snooze, got in the old sleeping bag and then, you know, we've we, been waiting all day and then as soon as I get in the biffy, that's it. Uh, that's one on the bank, which is a result, so it's not going to be a blank. Uh, my first fish, fish of the year, yeah. Nice one. That's how cold it's turned tonight. Ice forming everywhere, all my bobbins and everything. Um, I've actually had two fish. I've had uh, a mirror and um, you know, I had one of those ghosties. They were eight pounds, I think. Um, still good fun though, all on big hemp PVA bags. Very, very. There we go, look at the eyes on there. Wiced up. My net's frozen. My net over here. I picked it up. It was all stiff. But it's just wet. There's that bit of sweet corn. Didn't see that before. That was in the other fish. Is it gone? There. The hook there. Shit, we get that out. Uh, I've got it out there, it's in the fish's mouth, I better get it out. There's all my stuff on my trolley. All nicely freezing up there. God, it's took a turn for the cold tonight. See if he's got ice on it and all. I am nice and warm though because I've got my bivvy heater. Yeah, I'm having a nice time. Nice bivvy heater. We do a stereo over there. A gas burner. Yep, nice hot water bottle. A nice sleeping blanket, so I'm alright, even though there's ice everywhere else. Right, I thought I'd do a night blog. Uh, God knows, about half three in the morning or something like that. Um, it's been quite relentless, really. The, the, the ice has frozen me, me buzzer, so they don't work all that well. The receiver that hangs above me head is running out of battery. He's got his emergency light on. Um, I've had five or six fish. I actually forgot how many I've had. Um, I didn't take photos of any of them because they were just sort of £10 mirror eight pounds or they've like a common ghost in here but i just caught i did take a picture of one of them i just caught like a 22 um, pound something a uh, monster big thing it was it's hard to get photos it's, it's icy out there and uh i know there's 20s in here you know i've been trying to get a 20 for years for for years down there i've had one out in the middle lake um didn't expect to be getting one out of here i know they're in here um because i kept catching smaller ones I'm catching on both rods and that, and I thought, um, surely something a bit bigger is going to turn up, and it was a whopper, I couldn't lift it out, oh, I was right, old mare. Anyway, I can't see if, can't see myself on the camera very well, it's all going a bit peak tong. <laughs> now 
half past six. Uh, just done myself a couple of sausages because I was a bit hungry. Um, it's been a mental night. I've had, I've lost count, I must have had about 15 fish I think, varying from what was definitely a 20 pound fish. Um, 20 pound fish, I've had about an 18 pound down to a little 5 pound sort of fish. Uh, you get those common ghosties in there. Uh, and the last one I was getting in, I was bringing it in my right rod and I have to pick my left rod up and put it down a bit. And that started running off as well, so I had two at the same time. Um, all the trouble I originally had getting a 20 pound fish, and I come down here, it froze up last night, it's freezing cold. I thought I'd catch nothing. And uh, ended up having it really good. I can't believe it really. Um, probably one of my best sessions ever. So I'm well surprised. Just the cold ruins it, it's so cold. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another night, I was going to do another night, but I don't know now, because uh, I didn't get any sleep. Little bits here and there, but not a lot. Um, I'm low on gas and low on batteries on things, and my video camera's packed up, so I'm, I'm filming this bit on my normal camera. Um, I was just bagging up whatever I'd done, I just cast it out there, I caught something. You know? Whatever I'd done, every cast. We, when Scott went home and everybody else went home, every single cast caught me a fish. Well, I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. And, uh, no, I'll just get back in bed in a minute and then I'll get up and pack up. Uh, the action seems to have stopped now. Oh, I didn't get many photos of fish because it's a nightmare. It's freezing cold in the night. I've got uh, my camera in a bum bag and that. And I, did, I did have it on the tripod at one point, but some of them I weren't even getting out of the net. Um, I've got a photo of one, the biggest one I've got a photo of, but not a photo of me picking it up. It was sort of, I was putting the camera on the 10 second delay and it just couldn't do it, so I just took a picture of it on the mat, but um, it was a nice old lump. Um, well, until next time, that's it. And if, I, if I do get something else, I'll try and do some photos on this camera.